Well, it is 8.30 a.m. and we are currently in Phoenix, Arizona, about to head to the airport to fly to Puerto Rico for my first time ever to shoot for Sports Illustrated. Oh God, that's gonna be weird to say every single time. What is happening? I cannot believe this. Let's, let's go and not miss our flight and be a Sports Illustrated rookie. She looks pretty when she grits her teeth cause her boyfriend sucks and she knows he Cheese. Cries on my shoulder, but I can't see why she's not with me. She looks funny when she bites her tongue. Cause she likes my lips, but she won't move on. She said just friends, and I can't see why. I feel like sometimes I have like a delayed reaction or like something doesn't hit me until it's literally put right in front of me. And something about being in this hotel room, having my fitting in three hours and knowing I'll be up super early tomorrow shooting for Sports Illustrated. <laughs> it's like all hitting me at once. I got in last night. It's like noon right now. I just like completely slept in and now I wanna go explore the hotel I'm at in Puerto Rico and go get like a coffee. My fitting is at four, so we have some time. I don't even know what's happening. Like I've had some pretty special moments in my career, ones that I know I'll remember a lifetime, but this is up there as like just that, that moment. Let's go explore. So here is the room. I have my suitcase right here. I have a couple outfit options for tomorrow. They said to just bring some of my favorite dresses and just like some typical Ellie outfits. I brought my favorite shampoo. We have my Olaplex number eight hair mask. This is the one that I'm gonna be using in a couple hours here. Some self tan drops in the event we need to touch up the spray tan. My favorite conditioner right here. We need the hair looking good tomorrow. And then just my hairbrush and my leave-in conditioner. So that is all in this bag. And then I just brought like a comfy outfit that I'll probably wear tomorrow morning for hair and makeup. Just a typical little comfy sweatpant moment with a matching sweatshirt. That is basically what I packed minus my snack bag, which I'll show you that really fast. One thing about me is yeah, I can pack all the product, all the clothes, but the most important thing to pack for me is my snack bag wherever I go. I mean, literally, yeah, I wasn't kidding. I have some Kind Bars. These always go on the road with me because I just stand by. There's nothing worse than being in a hotel room or being on a plane and being hungry. I just can't. I have some Velveeta Bars right here. My favorite sea salt and black pepper little chips. And then some freeze dried strawberries and bananas. So that is a little snack bag. I am gonna go get a coffee and explore this beautiful hotel that I am at right now. And then we have our fitting at four o'clock. That's going to make it feel like a hundred times more real when I'm like there trying on everything, meeting everyone. That's going to be insane. <laughs> All right, let's get this first day in Puerto Rico started. <laughs> Okay, I don't know why that literally took me an hour to find breakfast and my coffee. I was just like so flustered walking around. I think just like the nervous energy, but look how yummy this looks. Breakfast, I guess, what is it? What time is it? 12.20 breakfast is served. Okay, so as I eat this bowl, I thought it would be funny to kind of share how I found out that I was going to be a Sports Illustrated rookie for 2023. That's still, I need to learn to say it and not like want to just geek out and smile right after, but I don't think that's ever gonna happen. I was in Charleston, Hannah was visiting, my sister was there. I had been, you know, this was like a big goal of mine for a very long time and I had done the different like video submissions, all the different kind of steps with my agency, you know, towards this goal. There was never really a timeline set for when I would find out or if it would happen. You know, it's one of those things where you do it and you just kind of then go back to your life and you don't really expect it to happen. I was waking up, I was drinking my coffee and making breakfast in the kitchen of my Airbnb. I remember it so clearly and I got an email from my agent and I just saw like the main little like header for it and I just saw like congrats and I my heart sank. I was just like, what does this mean? Obviously something good. I opened it 
and I thought it'd maybe be a phone call, but I opened this and it was just like, here you go, like you're a Sports Illustrated rookie and they want you to fly to Puerto Rico and shoot with them in January. I dropped my phone. I started, like, I couldn't even get the words out to Aaron and Hannah. I was just like freaking out, trying to say it to them. Then they started freaking out. We were actually going paddle boarding that morning and I'm in the car. My mom luckily answered because she's so good whenever she hears a call from us, whether it's 3 a.m., 7 a.m., 1 a.m. I told her and she freaked out. Same energy as me. And then I went paddle boarding, saw dolphins literally a foot ahead of me. And it was just one of those surreal, like I've made it and all this hard work, like all the way around, I'm talking mental blocks and just like every single thing that I've worked so hard for just like coming together in that moment. It just felt so meant to be. And so I had like two, I think that happened like three weeks ago, two and a half, three weeks ago, which is crazy. Cause I feel like time has just not felt real. And this has just been my main goal, just like, get in the right headspace, treat myself well, make sure I show up as the best version of Ellie. And that's kind of what my goal has been the last couple weeks. So I genuinely feel like the most confident version of me has kind of come through this process, which makes me really happy. All right, let's try this acai bowl because I've just been literally holding it, not even trying it. Mmm. Oh my God, that's delicious. This is starting the day off really good. <laughs> Okay, so we have about two hours into my fitting. I have just been showering, kind of getting myself ready for tomorrow. And I'm gonna show you my skincare and kind of how I would prep in a second, but I thought we could order some room service. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some lunch going and then we will finish the skincare. Good afternoon, take a call in room dining. How may I assist you? Hi, I was um, hoping to place an order. Could I just do the, the watermelon salad and add chicken on that? Okay, so I don't know why I made that so complicated, but I got this like watermelon fruit salad with chicken. Oh, hi, what's happening? I got another coffee and then a beet juice. I don't normally, I've never had a beet juice, so we're gonna, we're gonna try it out today. All right, lunch is served. I got another beautiful coffee here, some water, the beet juice, and then look how beautiful this looks. Oh my gosh, this is everything I needed more. <laughs> Here's the thing with me, I could be here, you know, shooting the biggest job of my life, the biggest honor ever, and then some things will just never change, whether I'm 21, whether I'm 16, whether I'm 40. I just absolutely spilled my beet juice all over myself. You couldn't ask for a worse color to spill. I'm so upset. You know, it was only right for it to go down this way. I'm gonna hop back in the shower. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare prep here for tomorrow. I feel like especially when I'm traveling, I like to overcompensate with the skincare. And if I know I'm gonna be having makeup on my face, I think it's really important and you can see a noticeable difference on how your skin feels and appears when you really take care of it the night before a shoot. The two products that I love every day, but especially in a situation like this, they're very thick moisturizers. So if you have dry skin like I do, these I would recommend. Even though it's very humid here, which helps with my dry skin, skin I definitely still want to overcompensate so I use the Lipicar daily repair moisturizing lotion morning and night and then the pharmacy wake up honey eye cream right here I definitely want to prioritize the skin and my sleep and go to bed early my fitting actually got changed to six tonight so my goal is do my skincare and kind of night routine beforehand and then just hop right into bed after so we can have a good day tomorrow with hopefully no under eye bags that are noticeably there so that's really all I do. I did my hair mask. I'm gonna let my hair just kind of air dry because I want it to come, you know, natural tomorrow and not already styled. And that's kind of really the prep. And then just the sleep and drinking a bunch of water and trying to, I say stay away from caffeine as I'm literally on my second coffee. But if I'm gonna do the two coffees, I just overcompensate with then four glasses of water. That is basically my little prep. Well, it is officially time for my fitting. So I'm gonna go down to the room and we're gonna try on some suits, which is so exciting. Good evening, thank you for calling in room dining. How can I assist you? Hi, um, could I place an order? Yeah, sure, for how many guests? For one, please. Guys, I have no words for how incredible that fitting was. It was the most 
me swimsuits that you could possibly imagine in 15 suits. And I don't just say that lightly, like it genuinely was just the most beautiful full circle of like me in a swimsuit. There is so many fun looks with denim and like some chaps. I've never worn chaps before. There's like a cowboy swimsuit. It is just so incredible and they were amazing. I was down there for like an hour and a half. I just ordered some dinner and I'm going to slap on some self tan and hit the damn hay because I gotta be up at 5 a.m. for hair and makeup. So that was incredible. I will show you dinner and then we're gonna hit it early. <laughs> this is everything and more. I got some tea for tonight, some mint tea, a cauliflower steak, which is incredible, and then some water to hydrate. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then we're gonna hit it early. Well, good morning everyone. It is 4.45 in the morning and I am gonna go head upstairs for hair and makeup. Today is officially the day of my very own Sports Illustrated shoot. That is so crazy. Oh my God. I'm too excited. Let's get this damn day started. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing with my life. Something tells me I should keep on trying. Giving up seems way too nice, way too nice All of my friends are doing things Yeah, well I drive alone down empty streets It's like I should be there by now I can't see the road somehow well, how does my future play out? Cause I don't want to let my mom down Hi guys! <laughs> There is genuinely no words to even speak about how I feel right now. This is literally a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I think just recognizing that as this is all happening is just completely overwhelming me because it's just something I'm gonna always look back on. And like those moments that you know are so far and few between where it's like, wow, this is like one of those core things that is going to like define the stories that I talk about one day. Basically we have been on the beach. We have been shooting so far, I think, seven looks and they have all just been so me and it just feels so good to see the confidence from that and how kind everyone has been you know translates to these pictures because there's so much more to it than just posing and getting a shot like there's so much that will make the shot good by how you feel on the inside i ordered a coffee and i'm going down to meet the whole crew and the si team for lunch here in a second and then we're doing the second half of seven to eight suits during sunset and like the afternoon so we are we are cruising through it's been literally insane and i have I haven't even pulled out my camera or phone. I'm gonna just hope that once I can post this, I'll just get all the behind the scenes and everything in here. But just know I feel so utterly grateful to be here. So <laughs> I'm gonna go meet them, but that is my little midday update. This is just the best day of my life and there's just nothing more to say. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> rookie photo shoot. What the heck? I just ordered myself a celebratory Caesar salad here with steak in honor of the day we've had. So I'm gonna eat this and then wash my face and we can unpack a little bit, but I am literally starving. I need to get this down like as of an hour ago. I'm so hungry. All right, let's get into it. And now we celebrate with some carrot cake, ice cream, and some Parks and Rec. This is absolutely perfect. <laughs> 
Naturally, I passed out immediately after eating. It is 4.45 a.m. and I have my flight home, so I will see you guys at a later moment where we can fully reflect on everything that has happened. All right, let's go home. Puerto Rico, I love you.